Hi, this is Farah Naj. Today I am going to present on the topic Rickshaw, the most popular mode of transportation in Bangladesh. Before I move on, I just want you to have an idea about the location of Bangladesh. So, point B is showing the location of Dhaka, the capital city of Bangladesh. Bangladesh is a Southeast Asian country bordered by North, East and West by India and in Southeast portion by Myanmar and face South to the Bay of Bengal. Let's move on to the brief overview in history of Riksha. The word Riksha came from a Japanese word Jin Riki Sha which means human powered vehicle. Riksha were first seen in Japan in 1868. The inventor of rickshaw remain uncertain and there are a lot of information about the inventor of rickshaw. You'll find them on Wikipedia or any other site in, uh, website where according to some American source, American blacksmith Albert Tolman invented the rickshaw around 1848 in Worcester, Massachusetts. You will find rickshaw in different countries all over the world. You will find rickshaws in countries of Africa, Asia, Europe and North America. In Madagascar, you will find rickshaws which are known as posipulses. They are human pooled rickshaws and they are very bright in color. In South Africa, Darwin is famous for iconic Zulu rickshaw pullers. If you can see on these pictures, Zulu rickshaw pullers are flying on the air while pulling all those rickshaws and having fun and especially these rickshaws are well decorated and different from other rickshaws. In Asia, rickshaw is the most popular mode of transportation in Bangladesh as I said earlier. I'll come back to the context of rickshaw in Bangladesh later on this presentation. In China, because of the increase in fuel price, they are shifting to the trend of riding rickshaws more than the past. Rickshaws were first imported to Hong Kong from Japan in 1880. Its popularity decreased after World War II and the most interesting fact is there is only one old licensed driver still bearing a license and offering a ride to the Victoria Pig. Most of the India has shifted to auto rickshaw, but the last considerable amount of handful rickshaws are found in Kolkata, and that is because of the fact that the rickshaw union, rickshaw puller union in Kolkata, has been protested against banning rickshaws from Kolkata, and that's why they are even now existed. In Indonesia, rickshaws are known as bikak now. One of the most important fact here and the cool fact here is that all the rickshaws you have seen earlier, the rickshaw pullers used to uh, stand or sit before the passenger, in front of the passenger. But here in BCAG, in case of BCAG, the rickshaw puller is actually sitting behind the passenger. In Malaysia, the trend has been shifted to the cycle rickshaw and as you can see, the rickshaw puller sits side by side to the passenger in this case. In Europe, you will find this kind of structured rickshaw in Finland. In Dublin, you will find this kind of cycle rickshaw. In North America, you will find rickshaws in USA and Canada. In Los Angeles, they have kept the traditional food-driven rickshaw model rather than shifting it to the cycle rickshaw. You'll find rickshaws like ice cream server vehicles in Boardwalk, Atlantic City. You'll find rickshaws in New York known as pedicab like this type. You'll find this kind of rickshaws in Madison, Wisconsin. The cool fact here is that this is an extension from a real bicycle. You'll find rickshaws in Cincinnati, Ohio, Minneapolis, Minnesota, and downtown Charleston, South Carolina. You'll find rickshaws as pedicab in Boston, Massachusetts. You can go to the website bostonpedicab.com and you'll find a number, a 617 number there. You can just call and reserve a ride.
Which year is the most popular mode of transportation in downtown Ottawa? It provides two to historical Barwood market in summer. They have kept the traditional food driven rich year model, but they have featured it with modern sound system to play music. Now let's come to rickshaws in Bangladesh. The first cycle rickshaw appeared in Bangladesh in 1930s. As I said earlier, this is the most common and popular mode of transportation in Bangladesh. Actually, you will see rickshaws everywhere in Dhaka city. It is serving a very large portion of our population. It is the most cheapest mode of transportation and it usually travels short distance. As from the definition, because rickshaw is a human-powered vehicle, so Bangladesh has got four kinds of rickshaw. The one you are seeing here is a cycle rickshaw. The second type is a rickshaw van. It is not intended to transport people, but in some cases it can, but it is intended to transport goods. The third kind of rickshaw found in Bangladesh is a school van. You will see kids on this van going to their school in Dhaka city and many other cities of Bangladesh. The fourth kind of rickshaw is a pushcart. This is mostly used in transporting construction materials. Rickshaw gives us a lot of service. They are used to transport people. If you can see the picture in the bottom right corner, this is a picture from the village. In village, people don't have cars. Most of the people don't have cars, so they used to hire rickshaw vans even in emergency mod medical condition to get onto the nearby hospital. They used to transport educational material. They are used to transport different food items. They are used to transport even animals. They are used to transport different kinds of goods. They even transport furniture. In village of Bangladesh, you will see people moving from one place to another by rickshaw and moving their furniture with rickshaws. Here the pushcart is transporting some rugs and carpets. Let's have a look at the advantages of rickshaw. Rickshaws are con considered to be a green vehicle. They do not contribute to the environmental pollution. They doesn't consume fuel. They doesn't use natural non-renewable energy resources. They doesn't create any noise pollution. They are very effective for short distance travel and they reduce the number of single equipment vehicles on road. Most of the time if a person is thinking about taking his car out, if he is alone, he would rather take the rickshaw which is more cheaper, more convenient and would be more quicker to take a, rather than taking a car. Rickshaws are very effective in rainy seasons for occasional flooding or water clogging conditions. If you could see the pictures, I'm sure no one is interested to drive their car on this situation. This is the picture from a local residential road of Taka City. And rickshaws are effectively reducing the amount of cut through traffic on local or residential streets. Rickshaws have less severe crashes with pedestrians because if a pedestrian is hit by a rickshaw, he's at least not die as he could be died from a running over with a vehicle. Rickshaws has got also some disadvantages. As a slow moving vehicle, it creates great problem in mixed traffic due to speed differential. Due to frequent lane changing tendency of rickshaw pullers, it possesses a great potential for crashes and fatality in mixed traffic. Rickshaw itself is not built strong enough to sustain or avoid injury of rickshaw pullers and its passenger. It's only suitable for short distance which limits its distance range of transporting people and goods. To 
overcome all those disadvantages and help rickshaw to become a popular and most effective mode of transportation, here are some recommendations. A dedicated rickshaw lane or rickshaw track could help with congestion because if you can see in the picture, all those rickshaws are on their lane and so all the vehicles are driving in peace in their road. Also, encouraging rickshaw pulling on local roads and providing good connection by allowing them crossing major roads in specific blocks could decrease congestion. Providing education to rickshaw pullers about the rules of the road may decrease the amount of changing lane and getting into a collision. Providing adequate space for parking rickshaw at popular destination is important because if they don't get a parking place, they scatter here and there, standing, and then that causes a great congestion. There is also important fact that because government is banning rickshaws from some major arterials, rather than banning rickshaws totally from major roads and mixed traffic, Regulation can be applied to ban rickshaws at rush hour because at rush hour there are a lot of traffic in the road and if there is rickshaws in the road that causes a great potential for congestion and collision. If that will not ply on the road at rush hour and then if that ply on the road when there is a lot less car, there is a good fact that rickshaws can ply on the roads and also not causing congestion. Thanks a lot for listening to my presentation. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any question, comments or solution about my presentation, please make it below. Thank you.